Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a tarot reading for the disappearance of Karen Horman. But before I begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll get notified on my next upload. I'm uploading a new video every week and I'm offering a free tarot reading for all of my subscribers. So if you would like to have your reading with me, you can just send a message to my email or a direct message to my Instagram. All of the details will be in the description box below. Kyron Richard Horman, born September 9, 2002, is an American boy who disappeared from Skyline Elementary School in Portland, Oregon on June 4, 2010, after attending a science fair. Local and state police, along with the FBI, conducted a search for Horman and launched a criminal investigation but have not uncovered any significant information regarding the child's whereabouts. His disappearance sparked the largest criminal investigation in Oregon history. Chiron was taken to school by his stepmother, Terry, on June 4, 2010, who then stayed with him while he attended a science fair. Terry stated that she left the school at around 8.45 a.m. and that she last remembered seeing Chiron walking down the hall to his first class. However, he was never seen in his first class, a math class, and was marked as absent that day. Terry's statement to the police indicated that after leaving the school at 8.45 a.m., she ran errands at two different Fred Mayer grocery stores until about 10.10 10 a.m. Between then and 11.39 a.m., Terry stated that she was driving her daughter around town in an attempt to use the motion of the vehicle to shoot the toddler's earache. Terry said that she then went to a local gym and worked out until about 12.40 p.m. By 1.21 p.m., she had arrived home and posted photos of Kyron at the science fair on her Facebook. At 3.30 p.m., Terry and her husband Kane walked with their daughter Kiara to the bus stop to meet Kyron. The bus driver told them that the boy had not boarded the bus after school and to call the school to ask his whereabouts. Terry did so, only to be informed by the school secretary that, as far as anyone there knew, Chiron had not been at school since early that day and that he had accordingly been marked absent. Realizing then that the boy was missing, the secretary called 911. Alright, from the first deck, we have Daughter of Wands, Seven of Wands, Daughter of Swords, The Temperance, Six of Pentacles, Daughter of Cups, Ace of Swords, The Hermit, and Mother of Wands. As we can clearly see here that we have a lot of females energy. We have four females energy, three of them are young females and then one of them is an older female. I think that this older females energy is his stepmom's energy and the three of the younger females energy are probably his school friends. But let's just see the other cards first. Okay, so in between these two, we have Seven of Wands. I feel that this represents that there's something going on between Chiron and his stepmom. Because from this card, I feel that he was being abused. I'm not sure if it's physically, but for sure it's mentally. So I feel that there's some tensions between them and both didn't know how to handle this so they let their emotion got the best of them and the reason there are two females energy in between this I feel that Kyron was probably sharing his experience 
to these two girls, his school friends, with the Four of Pentacles as the shadow card here. In this case, I feel that there's something that was left unsaid. So for me, this relates to what these two girls knew. They probably knew about what the stepmother did to him or that they saw him leaving the school that day with his stepmom. And then this daughter of cops, I feel that this could be the energy from his baby sister instead of his friends from school. The energy from this daughter of cops in this reading for me is someone who is fragile, who is still innocent. So this represents more of his baby sister. And on top of this card, we see that we have temperance and the six of pentacles. What I picked up from these two cards is that the stepmom used the baby sister as an excuse to lure him or to ask him to follow her that day. And another thing is that I feel that Kyron did something to the baby sister, probably not intentionally and not hurting the baby sister so bad, but he could have said or done something to the sister and Terry took it as something offensive. And this caused more tension between them. And this Six of Pentacles is also giving me a vibe that money is one of the problem behind all of this. I think that the stepmom felt that they spend like an imbalanced amount of money to Chiron. So this could be about the money or about attention that was spent to Chiron and that the stepmom felt that it was imbalanced between what was spent on Chiron than her children, especially the daughter. And then on top of this Mother of Wands, we see that we have Ace of Swords and the Hermit. This Ace of Swords makes me feel that what happened was planned and it was not something that accidentally happened. And the Hermit here represents his feeling. He was left alone. He was scared. And I feel that he couldn't understand why the stepmother left him alone. He didn't understand what was going on. While I'm not sure what the stepmom did to him at this point, but let's just draw more cards to get more insight about this case. Alright, so from the second deck, we have King of Swords, Judgment, Three of Swords, Eight of Chalices, Six of Wands, Page of Swords, Illumination, Nine of Pentacles, and another Queen of Wands on top of the Mother of Wands. Well, don't you think this is so obvious? Who is responsible for what happened to Chiron? Okay, let's read another card first. Okay, so we have another energy, another person's energy, and it is represented by the King of Swords. I think that this is someone who helped Terry with her plan to get rid of Chiron because you see that underneath the King of Swords, we have Judgment and the Three of Swords. Although we don't have the Death card here, I feel strongly that Chiron has passed. And this Three of Swords symbolizes that he was murdered and probably brutally. And the King of Swords was the one who did it. And that's why this person's energy came through as the King of Swords because he was the one holding the knife. He was the one hurting him. 
and the initial plan was represented by Ace of Swords so it was all planned and the plan was to hurt Chiron and the judgment here I feel that this represents that he was brought to somewhere like an old house like an abandoned house or it could also be like a basement where he then did whatever he planned on doing to Chiron and then we have another page of swords yes daughter of swords so like I said this could be Chiron's friend and I feel that she witnessed that Chiron was leaving the school with his stepmom and she was probably too young to understand this so she just left it unsaid but I think that throughout the years she keeps thinking about what happened what she saw or what she knew and it's kind of eating her up inside and then we have another person's energy page of pentacles so we have all the pages here why are there so many young females energy in this reading like I said it's probably about his friends in school another is about his baby sister wait but I think that this could also represent that this man is a pedophile and that he did this to several children and most of them are girls let's move on to this eight of chances and six of wands i think that these two represent how terry left chiron with someone else and then she went away from the crime scene and felt happy about it like she had accomplished something and i also feel with this card that she felt that she was just committing a perfect crime that no one will be able to find out what happened and that she definitely won't be the suspect in the investigation because with the illumination card here i feel that she was trying to mislead the investigation she thought that she could put on a show she could pretend that she had no idea what happened to him and acted out as a grieving mother and with the nine of pentacles here i feel that this represents that terry felt so confident about herself that she's full of herself she thinks that everybody will see her as a loving person as a caring person but i think that we see through her another thing that i picked up from this card is the energy of Chiron's mom because there's a woman here and there's a house a distance away from her so I feel that this represents her energy because she couldn't be there for Chiron but she would never stop doing whatever she could to make sure that justice will be brought for Chiron and I hope that she will get the justice that she and her family deserve Hello from heaven here I feel that Chiron is trying to reach out through this reading let me just read the card your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel their loving blessings so I think that he wants us to know that he's doing fine now and that he's protected the gifts from God here for me this tells us that Chiron was the gift from God to the family that he was such a wonderful kid and he brought a lot of 
love, happiness and joy to the family, to the people around him and that he was so special. And the nurture here, I feel that this card is telling us that he was supposed to be nurtured but unfortunately the one that's supposed to nurture him was the one that harmed him. So I think that from this reading, it's clear who is responsible for what happened to him. It's just that we don't have hard evidence that could help the police to prosecute the suspect. But I really hope that they will find something soon that can help with this case and solve this case. So yeah, that is all the reading for the disappearance of Kyron Horman. And once again, this is for entertainment purpose only. I don't mean to offend anybody. I would like to hear your thoughts about this case. So please share it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next reading. Thank you.